Hi everyone and welcome to episode 3 in our swimming series. In the last episode we've got our character movement under the water. So we've got this water volume and the character swim around and we animated them. In this episode we're going to fix this error where we have the character swimming down and as soon as we stop it will basically snap the player back to an idle animation. Which isn't very realistic. So let's go about how to smooth that out. So we're going to go into our third person and in blueprint. And at the end, where we set up the set actor rotation, we're actually going to do an interp in between all this. So for that to work, we need a delta time. So we're going to go right to the start, and you'll see that delta time is already part of our update animation. So we're going to promote that to a variable. So drag this out and promote to variable. And we'll call it D time. And we hook it up like so. Once we've got that, we want to use the R interp node. So R interp2. And what this node does, it takes two rotations and it will gradually make one close, uh, similar to the other one. So we want to get the current rotation of the actor. So let's just disconnect, or well actually let's just get another one here. Go get actor rotation. So that'll get the current rotation. So it goes into current. The target is just going to cancelling out the roll and pitch. So we want to make a rotator out of this. So make rotator. And we'll put that Z value into it like so. The D time variable will go into delta time. The interp speed is how quick you want this to be. I find five seconds is quite nice. So now all that's left now to do is switch our return value here back into our set act rotation. So I'm going to disconnect that there. And then right click, recombine, and connect it up like so. And that's all there is to it. Click compile, play. Now if I stop, I get a nice smoother movement back to idle. There you go. Again, I'll stop. Gives me that nice smooth movement to idle. And that's kind of it. It's a short, sweet episode. So thank you very much for watching. All that's left now in our game is to... Okay, so the next issue we've got is that when we're swimming, if we were to jump out of the water, like so, and land, you'll see the character rotation is kind of inherited still from our swimming ex expedition. So what we need to do is tell it, so when we switch to our non-walking, we set the rotation of this mesh correctly. So let's go into our player character actor and look at this movement mode changed. And on the force we've set the rotation here to be 0, 0 and then 540 on the character movement. What we also want to do is set that to be also uh, the case for our actor rotation in general. So get actor rotation And we want to also set rotator, a uh, set actor rotation. That can be plugged onto the end. The new rotation will be a make. So we go make rotator. And we'll split that and just chuck in there your and click compile. So now when we jump out of the water. It will change the animation, the rotation of our mesh to be upright. And there you have it. So let's go recapping what we've done here. So to do the delta time thing, to make it smoothly transition, we did that on the animation blueprint. And what we did, we took the delta time Delta time is basically the amount of time that's passed between each frame. So it can use that to calculate what the next one should be. And this R interp2 is what's powering all of this. And the interpolation is, is the transition between one value to the next. So the first value is the current rotation. And the target value is this new rotation, which is the same as our current rotation, except for X and Y is zeroed out, making it upright. And then interp speed is five seconds. So or just five really, I don't think it's seconds, I think it's just five. 
So it will interpret between the two and set that to a new rotation. And there's a very similar sort of thing to do the rotation outside of the, uh, when you jump out. When you jump out, we're just telling uh, on the mode change when it's not swimming, so force here. We're not only just setting the character rotation uh, to be, the control rotation to be 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 5, 40, sorry. We're also setting the active rotation to also be 0, 0, 5, 42. So that's it for this episode. Thank you very much. In the next part, we're going to start covering how to make the graphics for the water. So at the moment, we're just swimming around in an empty, invisible space. But we're going to go through post processes and adding a mesh on top so we can actually dive into this water. So join us next time when we start going through that. If you want to watch that next part right now, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley and watch that and learn that straight away. If you do that, you'll get access to loads of videos as well as our Discord and many other benefits. Big shout out and thank you to everyone who's supported me so far and who's shown their support for the channel. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys. It's really fantastic that you're helping me out achieve this. So thank you very much and I'm glad this, this has been useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them below in the uh, comments below. Thanks very much for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.